Hello, hello! Perfidious Pete here, back to deal with what is likely a small, woefully undermanned UFO somewhere over South America in XCOM The Long War. Now you may be asking, Pete, what makes you suspect that this mission will be a small UFO? And to that I would reply that the aliens have apparently decided to borrow a page from the book of Charlie Sheen and cut off their noses to spite their face. Now, you also may be saying, but Pete, the aliens don't have noses, how could they cut them off to spite their face? And you would be right in that respect, but I stand by my assertion because the aliens have sacrificed five small UFOs and their crews in order to complete what appeared to be a single research mission over Brazil. I'm not exactly sure what they were hoping to find down there. Sean Connery and his wife, maybe? I don't know. But uh, it seems like their strategy paid off just about as well as that movie reference I just made, which is to say... Not at all. Nobody's going to get that. Anyway, there was a moment last episode where I thought very briefly that the aliens had actually pulled off the greatest satellite hunting scheme in the history of XCOM. But then the ship that had a chance to shoot down our satellite simply flew off into the sunset, heading away into the west like Shane's corpse tied to his horse. They ignored our cries of, Aliens, come back! Aliens! And just kept on going. It was, a, it was a pretty heartbreaking little moment there, and for both us and the aliens, actually. And then the game just shit all over our drama by cramming an exalt mission down our throats while we were interested in dealing with something else. Now, in order to help keep my sodium levels low, I'm actually not going to talk about that exalt mission at all, other than to say that Sean Penn is in the hospital for the foreseeable future, and the Night Industries 2000 is in dire need of repair. So we're going to head on down to the foundry and begin those repairs. Normally I would chastise Kit for getting himself blown up, but in this case, the noble little Shiv actually really did take one for the team. We flung him to the wolves, and he withstood just a hellish amount of firepower. Nobly fought, stayed in the ring as long as he could, but eventually, well, like the fleeing deer, the wolves nipped his hamstrings and eventually brought him down. But he did perform well enough that uh, we're going to go ahead and rebuild him. Because really his sacrifice is the only thing that let anybody else come back alive from that mission. So, Kit's going to get rebuilt. And we have two other items on our housekeeping task in addition to rebuilding the Night Industries 2000. And one of those, we're going to have to dig another hole. And we're going to build a laboratory. Now, I do want to build the hyperwave relay. That's sort of my priority. But as you can see, we don't have enough power nor enough cash. Cash is more the important problem, but the power is not insignificant either. But since we do have a pretty good stash of cash, what we're going to do is go ahead and put a laboratory in. It's always good to keep as many laboratories as you can. You want to try and keep those maxed research. Pretty much the most important thing you can do. So we're going to build that. The satellite uplink eventually is going to go there, and this will be a uh, alien power facility generation so that we can power all of these wondrous and fantastic devices that we're going to have. So we need 15 power to power that hyperwave relay, and this last one's probably going to go for a gallop chamber, much as that... Uh, much as I don't necessarily want it to, that's sort of the way it's going to go. Anyway, that's got our building plans taken care of. We have 212 credits left. We're not going to spend any of that. We're going to need some of that to scan for Exalt again, probably within the next 15 days. Because, gosh darn it, I just love those Exalt missions so much. They're so much salty, salty fun. Uh, I'm, I'm depressed in myself even just talking about it. You know what, let's just start scanning and I can put them out of my mind for a little while. You know, I really should be focused over South America, trying to figure out what the aliens are up to. And France, had you made that request like a year ago, I might have said yes. But uh, as it stands now, Meld is probably my single most precious resource, so not a fucking chance. And I'm just assuming the next mission also is going to be in South America, which is why I spun the globe around. Contact detected. Well, I was not surprised. Okay. I don't think we have any interceptors. Oh, we act, we actually do have an interceptor. Okay, so one got repaired. The drawback, of course, is that it's Captain Moose Keitel. The big, dumb, oafish lout has zero chance of bringing down this, this ship. Even if we put him up on defensive and burned every single consumable we had, he's, he's not going to be able to do enough damage. He might have an outside chance if we had supercapacitors, but we don't. So I think what we're going to have Moose do is... Just go say hi and wave at the aliens. You know, Moose, like you did when you were in third grade and you sat at the back of the short bus and waved at all the cars going by. We have eyes on the yeah, just pretend this is them. 
Closing on target. Disengaging. So there we go. We're gonna just take the cheap panic reduction and not risk any damage to Moose. My guess is this is probably an abduction mission. It's a large UFO. We haven't had an abduction in a while. Alternatively, it could be a terror mission, but eh, well, it it well it it's either a terror mission, abduction mission, or it's just gonna land. My guess is it's probably an abduction mission. So we're just gonna see what happens here. Contact detected. Okay. Well, that sucks. So we have a landed large UFO. That is bad. The reason that's bad is I know that, oh man, we have, I just, let's see who the defaults are. Other than Taylor Swift, Megan Fox, and Kesha, this crew doesn't fill me with hope for successfully completing a large UFO. We'll have to see what kind of crew we can put together on this. Do we not have a single infantry guy? I thought Lindsay Lohan was back on duty. Is she not back? Fuck, Lindsay Lohan still has four more days. Who's our best infantry guy then? Yeah, let's take Dane Cook. We got Tay Diggs, we got Jean-Claude Van Damme. Is that it? Ah, oh, you this game just hates me. It hates me so much. So in four hours, we could have Hugh Real Steel Jackman. Our only sort of effective infantry guy that we have left that we can call on. Here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to let four hours pass. We need Hugh Jackman. Taylor Lautner is back. Well, that's lovely. Let's save the day. All right, so we'll tell Germany no. That'll stop the clock. Hugh Jackman is back on duty. And we can go intercept this UFO now. Contact so let's just get the Sky Ranger out. I feel a little bit better for having Huge Axeman along. He's going to shore up some of our holes here. Not that we don't have many, many glaring, glaring holes, because, frankly, we, we do. I this, this may be a mission where we have to retreat. Paris Hilton's only got 11 more hours. Same for Jaden. Seven hours for Jaden. That's kind of heartbreaking. We can't let this sit on the ground for that long, though. Um, large UFOs, especially when they land, don't tend to stick around too terribly long. So, Hugh Real Steel Jackman is going to be leading the charge. And I'd like to point out, the last time we had someone of around Hugh's rank on a mission, at a large UFO, as an infantry guy, with a not necessarily great crew, that man died. That man was George Clooney, and while Hugh Real Steel Jackman is, you know, much better than George Clooney, I mean, let's face it, Clooney's no Hugh Jack's man. I'm still a little bit nervous about sending Hugh into battle armed with the Slim Shady Memorial Slug Slinger, but it's got to be done, so. Uh, who else do we want to send? We need gunners. All of the gunners. Lots of gunners. Is Lady Gaga available? Ooh, she is. We're actually going to send Lady Gaga and, I think, Megan Desert Fox. That's right, Joss Whedon. You're staying home. I'm still a little upset with you, son. I'm, I'm not entirely happy with your performance. You did a bad job and got George Clooney killed. Uh, Megan Fox does not have hollow targeting. She's an Overwatch guy with covering fire. I Do we dare take Joss Whedon? Joss does have hollow targeting, which I do prefer. He is in effect almost... Oh, George, he has bring him on. Why do you have bring him on? Man, what was I smoking when I'm... Yeah, anyway. All right, so it's Megan Fox then. Well, let's just get her load out then. Aegis armor. Megan Fox also going to be considerably tougher to kill, so screw it. Also, Joss Whedon can serve out his time in the penalty box. We're not springing him early. It's going to be a scope and an alloy bipod then for the Desert Fox. And let's hope she can definitely channel the... Force of her ancestor, Erwin Rommel, to defeat our foes. We're also taking Lady Gaga on this mission. We're going to wipe ourselves out for gunners. And for the Gogster, she's going to be toting some Aegis armor. And we're going to go with the Pulse Laser. She has rapid fire, heat ammo. We're going to want her to be able to move, stick and move, stick and move. That's the Lady Gaga way. Actually, I, I think the Lady Gaga way is to just wait around for the applause. She, she lives for that shit, or so I've heard. Laser sight, scope, Aegis armor, and we're actually going to adjust Megan Fox very slightly. I don't want Megan to have Aegis armor. Actually, I'm going to give her Banshee armor, since there's not 
There's a, definitely a non-zero chance that she could grapple up to the top of that UFO and actually do some pretty good work for us. And with resilience, she's going to be very, very difficult to kill in a single shot. So, Absolutely going to need a medic, and there's no question in my mind that that medic needs to be Justin. Scarecrow Bieber. The Biebs himself. Now, we're going to fit Biebs out with Phalanx Armor because we're going to tend to keep him a little bit further from the action. Battle Scanner's med kit, laser rifle. That's got Biebs sorted. Gonna need a scout, gonna need an assault trooper. And as much as I desperately want to bring the sun god Ra himself, just no chance for it. So it's gonna have to be the immortal madman, Reb Brown. He cannot be killed by mortal weapons, folks. He's simply that much immune to them. No man of woman born can slay Reb Brown. It simply cannot happen. For the Rebster, you know what? I can't afford to even try for a capture on this. It's... That's a fool's errand. I'm just not, I'm not even gonna bother. Double flashbangs actually for Red Brown. And an assault trooper, that's going to be definitely without a doubt, Matt, not today, Lauer. Although Lauer's will has suffered recently because of the massive number of critical wounds that seem to find their way Matt's way. The actual answer to where in the world is Matt Lauer is somewhere in a fucking hospital because that's where he's always at. But we're going with Breaching Ammo, in case of Muton Berserker, bre Breaching Ammo. And no Arc Thrower for Lauer either. For Lauer, we're going to go with also a Flashbang. And for our final two units, we're not screwing around. We're doubling up on Mech Troopers. We're just going to go double Mech. One of those Mechs is going to be the Crimson Lift Death Goddess herself, the Lady of Pain, Bringer of Destruction, the Harbinger of Doom, other and sundry impressive sounding nicknames for someone who is generally a badass. Taylor Swift. T-Swizzle herself, locked, loaded, and ready to bring some fiery, fiery death to her foes. Now, here I'm pretty sure that uh, Alpha, ooh, Alpha Dog is available. Interesting. I was actually considering taking Drake instead of Alpha Dog, but the Alpha Dog is around. Hmm. Now I'm torn. Let's take a look and see what we can kit him out with. If we give him our Mech Warden 1, we can give him a Railgun and a single Flamethrower. Alright, so we're going to change this very slightly then. Taylor Swift has the Jelly Delirium. She hasn't gotten a chance to use it. Taylor Swift's love of watching the skin bubble off of her foes is pretty well documented at this point. So here's what we're going to do. The Shogun, Alpha Dog, Timberlake. Also, he has Heat Warheads, Packmaster, some other abilities. He's going to take our grenade launchers. The Lady of Pain will be wielding double fucking flamethrowers for that extra flamey goodness. And that's our crew, then. I'm hesitant to send you ladies and gentlemen into battle. You brave men and women. You few, you mighty few. But it simply has to be done. Best of luck. Why, as I watch the Sky Ranger take off, am I certain that somewhere the ghost of Alfred Lord Tennyson is getting ready to rewrite Prepare the 600? The Charge of the Light Brigade, here it comes. Stormed out with shot and shell, boldly they rode and well. Brazilian authorities have requested into the jaws of hell. So that's where we're going next. The 600. Reports indicate the UFO set down in a sparsely populated area. Ah, uh, you know, Operation Defiant Shroud. My simple hope is that not more than one person comes back to base in a shroud. That's that's really all I'm looking for here. A shroudless mission. I don't care about how defiant the shroud is or uh, its general otherwise behavior. Don't don't really care about its purportment. More concerned that it just simply doesn't exist. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Yeah, why don't you go eat all the dongs, Big Sky? I got shit to concentrate on that does not involve you. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. All right. So we're going to go with our patented move out here. First move honors go to our emplacement gunner. I take up position behind the tree. Overwatch. Uh, Tay Tay. We're going to have, we're going to go a little aggressive here. We're going to have Tay Tay and Alpha Dog. Both are going to dash. We're going with our standard kit out. And usually the aliens, if there is a pod over here, tend to be a little bit further down. And I want Tay Tay and Alpha Dog as close to the front as possible. Not necessarily Alpha Dog so much as Tay Tay. Tay Tay definitely needs to be forward with her twin flamethrower goodness. She's uh, going to be able to do a lot of really 
fun things with that fiery death. Fun for us, not so much the aliens. They'll be sitting in a burn ward or the alien equivalent thereof at best. We're also going to take Ryder, the immortal madman, quite as well forward, and also the same format, Lauer. Now, Lady Gaga, we're going to do something similar with her. We're just going to, actually, you know what? We're just going to move everybody at a pretty good clip, get them forward, get them in a firing position. Huge Axeman is going to be the one sort of odd duck move. And Reb, we can go on Overwatch. Let's see if we get any audio clues. If not, we'll uh, take a conservative move next time and deploy a battle scanner. So there's some chrysalids. Not unexpected, honestly. Sounds like some floaters, possibly heavy floaters. We also have mutons on the map. That's disconcerting, but not insurmountable. All right, so let's get the Desert Fox. Once again, she gets firsties. We want to make sure she's in a good weapon emplacement, so she's going to hunker down. You know what? Not today. I want you to go right Good there. Go. Yeah. Old position, Roger sir. That. Scanning. Where is the Beebster? Beebs. Roger there, that. my friend. Duck behind the log. It's battle scanner time. There's usually a pod somewhere up in these there hills. I know sometimes there's gold in them there hills, but not in this situation. There's chrysalids in them there hills, and we want to find them. Or there's not chrysalids in them there hills? There's exalt in them there hills. Well now, that's a Jed Clampett level of unexpected returns. Um, he was just shooting at some food when up from the ground came a bubbling crude. I mean, Jed wasn't expecting it. We sure as hell weren't expecting exalt. On the move. It's, it's not an unpleasant discovery by any chance. Some exalt troopers on this mission are actually one of the easiest things we could possibly encounter, so I'm fairly comfortable with that. Our goal here is to simply not pop the pod until we've got somebody in a good position to really deal with these pricks. Also, nice chance for a little bit of payback for what these bastards did to Sean No Angel Pen. We are still looking for a little bit of hurting on them. Now, we do have a problem, as I discussed, I th actually, the last episode I mentioned this. For some reason, lately, when I've been setting... Fuck. When I've been setting Exalt Troopers on fire, we've been having a lot of really, really bad luck as far as uh, the game locking up. So I'm probably going to have to be very careful with what I do with Taylor Swift here. I, I can't really afford to just have her dash in and set the world on fire. Also, spawning this pod is arguably the shittiest thing we could have done, because we're in a terrible, terrible position now. Uh, we're going to have Tay-Tay move behind this tree and just try and take out some line of sight. Just try and mitigate who can shoot at it. Force them to move. We do have plenty of overwatch here. If Exalt decides to come forward, we're going to get some reasonable shots at him at least. The chrysalid noises have me filled with concern. If we get sandwiched between a wad of Exalt troopers and some chrysalids come up behind us, that's going to be real bad news. We have an Overwatch opportunist. It looks like Exalt's going to play conservative. Yeah, they're just going to pile up and go on Overwatch. Did we not bring an engineer? I don't think I brought an engineer. How did I not bring an engineer? Am I the stupidest human on the planet? I'm the stupidest human on the planet. I can't believe I didn't bring an engineer. We need a Kesha. We need some kind of AoE damage, and I did not bring any. I am a stupid, stupid idiot. Incoming fire! I mean, idiot implies stupid, but I, I felt that uh, this decision was boneheaded enough to warrant the double invective. This was really dumb. Now well, there goes Tay Tay's tree. She is going to get a swing back at this shit biscuit, though. To no effect. Nicely done, Tay Tay. So, so far it's a 0 0 tie. And I think this guy's the only person left with a shot. And he went on Overwatch. Alright then. So, Red Brown gets to do the most dangerous Overwatch in history here. Let's see if maybe we can settle the odds a little bit for Reb and take some of these guys out before we have him go 600 style into the Jaws of Death. Why can we not hit the guy we have flanked? He's too far away. Alright then. 86, 86. We got two 86% hits, and these could theoretically generate kills. We're going to go ahead and take the Mega Fox. Nine damage in a shred, and as odd as this may sound, I'm actually going to shoot at a different target. I've got that guy wounded. I'm going to try and wound another. 
and then we can have uh, maybe JT can go in with a grenade and start mopping up with some explosive damage. Or Tay Tay could mop some up with a flamethrower. That's also an entire possibility. And now Red Brown gets to do the most dangerous dash in the history of XCOM. There's like 30 guys that are going to overwatch at him. Yeah, you better con prepare to continue swearing there, Reb. You're going to be doing a whole lot of it this turn. This is like 85 guys that are going to shoot at you, so... Prepare to get shot in the mouth, I guess. Honestly, that was not unexpected. As many guys as are shooting at Reb Brown here were... That's bullshit, however. Flat out fucking bullshit. Reb Brown is already almost end of mission. That's complete horse shit. One hit, I could understand. Two hits, two hits is fucking bullshit. Once is luck, twice is fucking cheating. That's, that's, sorry. It's just how it goes, game. You get lucky once. That happens twice, you're, you're cheating. Just, that's it. Cheating. I declare, I cry shenanigans. Lady Gaga has one real bad shot. Alright then. Well, not gonna do anyone any good. So I guess JT's gonna have to take some overwatch here. Or not. Whip a grenade out there, Justin, and eliminate all of this cover. All of it. Also, maybe kill some guys. That would be real useful. I can't believe I didn't bring an engineer. I have no idea what I was thinking. How did I not bring an engineer? Just ridiculousness. Uh, even with a running gun, Matt Lauer can't really contribute anything, so we're going to try and put him in a position to contribute next time. He's still going to run and gun, however. He's going to run and gun for Overwatch. Roger, Dodger. So you can tell about how well this mission is going, folks, by the fact that um, this early in, I'm already desperately running and gunning Roger, for, simply for Overwatch shots. Should tell you how this is working. And that, that's not good. Well, this is almost certain to guarantee that we get grenaded. But we don't have a whole lot of other options. So we're going to put Tay Tay on Overwatch at least. Now, Hugh Real Steel Jackman has... Why is that guy so fucking impossible to hit? Alright, Real Steel's going to take a shot. That remarkably hit. He's not going to take that risk twice, however. His second shot's going to go on suppression. I command... I need ammo. That's only half cover now for Biebs. That's simply not good enough. Biebs is going to move up to full cover. And he's going to deploy just enough smoke to guarantee that our troopers get grenades thrown at them. Smoke's in the air. Seems like the smart thing to do. Also, Biebs should possibly go on Overwatch after this. Eh, maybe not. Alright, so that just leaves Lady Gaga. We'll bring the Gogster up, put her in this half cover, and she, I don't know, take a rapid fire shot at someone if she has not a shameful chance of hitting. We need to kill something here. Alright, Gaga, 285 percenters, this should get a kill. There we go. So Gaga bringing the pain. Let's see how x reacts. And I'm still actually waiting for the inevitable charge of the... Yep. Alright, so it's not Chrysalids, it's Thin Men and Seekers, which agreeably is worse. So those Thin Men can pretty much kill Reb Brown whenever they decide he should be dead. Taylor Swift is getting a reaction shot here and eliminated one of those Seekers. Some fine work from Tay Tay. Reb Brown needs to be healed desperately. We've got to get a heal on Reb because a single grenade at this point could put him out of action permanently. No, uh, no man of woman born could kill Reb Brown. Unfortunately, these Exalt Troopers, I believe, are brewed in a lab, which gives them the Erwin from Lord of the Rings style exemption to that rule. It's cheesy bullshit, but, uh, well, prophecy is prophecy, and that's the way it works. You take the good with the bad. So far, getting pretty lucky as far as the Exalt being terrible shots. I don't know how the hell they hit Red Brown twice when they can't hit the broad side of a barn otherwise, but I'll take it. All right, Lauer. Well, we can't have you running that Overwatch, can we? No, no we can't, is the answer to that question. So that's going to be Reb Brown's job. Once again, Reb, you get, uh, you're get getting the short end of the stick here, sir. You get hit again, you're the unluckiest motherfucker to ever walk the planet. 
All right, really so fine. I guess you're second most unlucky person to ever walk the planet. Somewhere just behind... Uh, I guess it'd be like Anne Hathaway and uh, Moon Bloodgood, who both died to Overwatch shots, as I recall. So, Tay-Tay, can you get up there and wield a flamethrower shot that's going to hit more than one guy? Uh, it looks like the answer to that question is no. That's a little troubling. Huge Axe Man has to reload. Also, he has a shot at something. I'm guessing probably a Seeker of some variety. Or is that a Thin Man? Oh, it's a Seeker. Alright, well, huge. Head to full cover. That's really all you're going to be able to do for us this turn. Megan Fox has two shots. There is a thin man over there, and if we leave Megan Fox exposed out in the open, she's going to get killed. Rolling. So it's up to the dynamic duo of Axeman and Fox to bring down this pod. Yeah, use your grappling hook. That's what I was looking for you to do. Of Axeman and Fox to bring down this tandem duo of destruction with the thin man and seekers that are lurking back there. My guess is probably they're both just going to fucking wind up strangled, but that's the way... The way the cookie crumbles. I really wish this thing could hit up and down. But instead, we're gonna. Wow, that's the best shot you've got, Tay Tay? That's terrible. But Taylor Swift managed to kill exactly one tree. A single tree. Which is not only bad, but also, you know, from an environmental standpoint, entirely unacceptable. Tay Tay, a noted defender of. Uh, all things environmental and good in the world. It's uh, greatly saddened her that she, she accidentally killed a tree. At least we got some damage there. Um, Beebs, buddy, you're going to have to apply a bit of uh, medicinal salve here to old Reb Brown, who's hurting pretty damn bad. And I'm nice to see that just some things never changed there. Justin Bieber still admonishing troopers for suffering wounds that uh, had nothing to do with their own volition. Proof that Justin Bieber could be an asshole in basically any circumstance. Not exactly the finest output we've ever gotten from uh, Megan Fox there, either. Now, Run and Gun is on cooldown. Matt Lauer could theoretically get two kills here. Well, he could get one... He could get two kills and then get shot to pieces. It, it seems like that's a bad idea. This trooper would almost certainly be able to get him dead. And we have no other cover available? None. Alright then. So, Matt Lauer. Well, he's got a shot here. Not a great shot, but we're going to take it. One dead guy is a dead guy. Lauer delivers. And let's see how much damage our mech troopers take. I'm going to guess a lot. Oh yeah, sure. We needed another pile in. Some chrysalids. So, everything on the map all at once is apparently the motto here. Everything all the time. On the plus side, those chrysalids, they're fucked with a capital F because Taylor Swift is going to eradicate all of them with some fire. I'm certain that was a thin man because only they can hit such ridiculous bullshit shots at that kind of distance for that kind of damage. Seeker's gonna come and try and strangle someone or just shoot at him? Not entirely sure how you're flanked by that, but uh, whatever. Also, that thin man was using squad sight. Delightful. That's a thin man navigator, then. And there's another one scampering around. We can't see him, but we can hey, hear him. And he's apparently suppressing Megan Fox. So, this turn is uh, it's going real well. Honestly, I tend to agree with that assessment, Justin. That is fairly superficial damage, actually. It's becoming less superficial very rapidly, however. Hostile fire on this position. Please kill this man, Taylor Swift. Good God, Taylor. Come on. You've hit nothing this entire mission. I'm beginning to doubt your chops as Death Goddess. Seriously, I may have to revoke your card, Taylor. I may have to revoke your official deity, murderous deity card. I'm, I may have to take it back. We have a trooper getting suppressed by a fucking sector. Also, that was not a kill. You Jacks man. I am supremely disappointed in you, sir. Supremely disappointed. No longer a threat. Who knows I'd go that far? 
Well, the most important thing we can do this turn is make sure that Taylor Swift sets all of these chrysalids on fire. So, of course, I immediately move Justin Bieber, who is not the unit I wanted to move. I am not good at this game. Okay. So let's try and move the correct unit for once and not really fuck up everything. Are we getting all of these chrysalids? Because seriously, we can't leave even a single one unscathed. So that's a shitload of damage and a whole bunch of panicked chrysalids. I don't know what chrysalids' behavior is when they panic. Apparently run still is their standard default. That's fine, to be perfectly honest. Let's just hope they don't scatter out too far. We wouldn't mind wielding a grenade. Although if I were a smarter man, I would have grenaded them first, but let's face it, smarts and me don't exactly go together like peanut butter and jelly. Smarts and me go together more like uh, oil and water. Lead and paint, another thing that goes together. Also, lead paint and explosion is one of the explanations for why I'm so dumb. I used to eat a lot of it. I uh, I really liked matte white when I was a kid. I used to just, I ate it by the gallon. So, one of these guys did not panic then, I guess. That's interesting. Justin Timberlake's going to take advantage of his final grenade, I guess, and drop it on these lids. Also, that mega lid does not appear to be panicked. Just throwing that out there. It does not appear to be frightened in the least. So, we are not in a good position. Not at all. Lady Gaga going to continue her gunfight with the unhittable Exalt operative. Yeah, you've shot at him four times now and missed. Um, we're getting very, very bad odds on the coin flip there. At least one of those should have hit, mathematically. On the move. So Matt Lauer's going to get two shots. One's going to kill that guy. Down. You couldn't have saved that 15 damage critical for the guy who's... Well, I was going to say the guy who's behind that tree, but apparently that unit is utterly unhittable. So... I guess there was really no reason to save the shot, then. You want to suppress me? Two can play at that game, sir. I will return the favor. If we put Bieber there, he's going to get shot. Is there anywhere safe for Bieber to be? Now oh, this is full cover. We're going to dash Bieber to full cover. Red Brown, we can't really afford to have take another hit, but uh, we're going to have to put him in at least a somewhat exposed position. Uh, so, patching up a little bit of health. So we've got one Panic Chrysalid, and if that thing moves, Matt Lauer should theoretically at least get to shoot at it. Shooting back at Lady Gaga. Yeah. So suppression everywhere, and here comes a totally expected strangle, actually. Minor damage at best. Where the hell is that thin man with the squad sight? That guy is fucking bullshit. That's all I'm gonna say. That a uh, squad sight thin man is absolute horseshit. Uh, this mission is not going well. It's not going well at all. Alright then, so let's see what we can do. We're going to revisit that in a minute. And of course, the one person that could save some of our troopers is out of ammunition. That's delightful. Way to be. So Bieber's going to fall back then and try and free up one of our other two units. He is a, well, he literally can't kill it without a critical. Also can't even hit it, which is delightful. Nice work. Affirmative. Ah... Uh, where did that other Exalt Trooper go? Position confirmed. In a terrible spot for us. That's where he went. So Taylor Swift's still out of ammo. We're going to have to make Taylor Swift a tempting okay. target for the sniping thin man who won't leave us alone. I also was apparently on Overwatch. I was a sectoid on, on Overwatch. Alright. Well, that's less troublesome. Tate's gonna take a chance to reload, and really, this turn is this is it's not going well at all. Just not at all. 
Timberlake, if ever you were going to hit a shot, buddy, this is the shot that has to be hit. And it's a 38% chance. I feel terrible. Matt Lauer, we can't risk his life. Lauer's already been injured, so we, we can't take any kind of chances. Red Brown's just going to go on overwatch. Lady Gaga's going to move and reload because she has, frankly, no choice. We're green to go. All right, Lauer, you're going to have to dig yourself out of your own hole. Run and gun. If you pop a pot up here, you're, you're simply dead. And not only are you dead, but everyone else on the team is also dead. So please don't do that. Also, hitting that enemy would have been real, really useful. Well, we have one trooper who's performing up to snuff, and that trooper is Justin Timberlake. He's all we got, folks. We brought one bullet, and uh, JT is that bullet. So, some troopers enjoying some nice autoerotic asphyxiation action. Leaving the sectoids nothing to shoot at. Not sure what they're going to try. They may try and mind fray someone, I guess. Possibly. I don't know. Thin man still on the roof and still has yet to miss a shot, I'd like to point out. Absolute bullshit. And Lady Gaga has panicked. The other trooper that could possibly have saved our strangled units is now a panicky idiot. So this is going swimmingly, folks. The only way this could go worse is if a Matt Lauer gets killed here. Incoming weapons fire. I'm seriously considering retreating, actually. We we may need to just leave. I don't I don't know as we're gonna be able to fight our way out of this. Bieber, could you please hit this shot this time? You did two fucking damage, Bieber. Two. Roger that. Scanning. That's uh pathetic, is what that is. It's fucking pathetic. Where is that goddamn thin man? I'd love to know how that thin man is invisible. I mean, he can fire across the entire map, but he's also invisible. So, Monster never forget. Invisible Thin Man, 2015, 2014, whenever this is. We may be out of panic as well. So, we're going to have to deal with this chrysalid. We can't leave it unmolested because I think it's panic time from being set on fire by Tete is ended. On the plus side, we do have Matt Lauer, who should be able to end its life. Except he's out of fucking ammo. Well then, we're going to need at least one more turn of panic, or Matt Lauer is simply dead. Lady Gaga showing Justin Bieber how one actually uses a firearm. And you know what? It's 6%, and at this point, I feel compelled to take it. Otherwise, it's just a wasted double tap cooldown, so... Yeah, we're not going to take the penalty. We're just going to go on Overwatch with Covering Fire. Red Brown's going to bounce over in an effort to try and find Mr. Invisible Thin Man, wherever the hell he may be. Who continues to rain death on us. And we did get lucky in that the Crystal had panicked for at least one more turn. Justin Timberlake likely going to get shot in the back here. There goes the Thin Man to continue his unadulterated sniping. Huge Axe Man. Showing a sectoid precisely what covering fire is actually meant to do on the rare occasion that it worked. And that sectoid has been alive so long it had to reload. That's horrible. If a sectoid has been alive long enough to reload, you have done something terribly, terribly wrong. And Justin Timberlake taking the uh, shot to the back that we knew he was going to take. Nice panic, Lady Gaga. We needed that. That's uh, it's real good. Real good. Matt Lauer with a kill. He's going to go on Overwatch. Matt Lauer turns out to be our other unit who is capable of doing anything. And we won't have any more sniping Thin Man because that son of a bitch is dead. So, Justin Timberlake, um, again, if you spawn a pod, everyone is dead. We, we really need to get this Exalt Trooper who is utterly unhittable for whatever reason. He's really got to die. Seems like sending Justin Timberlake was the right choice since he's proved to be one of the few troopers capable of hitting anything. I mean, the guy is a hit machine, let's face it. He has a, 
an absolute fuck ton of platinum albums. Maybe there's a reason for Justin Timberlake's success. I mean, I'm just spitballing, but I, I feel that perhaps it's somewhat warranted. Now, Tay Tay does not have jet boots, so she can't exactly track down the rogue thin man that has been sniping the back of our ranks. And it's up on a building. The only person who could get up there really is, is actually Justin Timberlake. So we are going to move Taylor Swift, and we're going to put her on Overwatch. That Thin Man should not have anyone to spot for him any longer. So if he comes back, we should theoretically get some Overwatch shots at him. And we can bring Justin Timberlake all the way back down, and I will do it, actually. I will keep the entire team on Overwatch. Honestly, we need some regrouping turns anyway. We're pretty scattered out. So Matt Lauer still desperately needs a heal. We're going to put him in a position where Bieber can uh, apply some of our medicinal Solid salve. Red Brown also actually kind of needs a heal, but uh, we don't, we're don't. we not really in a position to heal the Rebster. We're going to bring Huge that. Axeman up here. We're going to put him on Overwatch. Overwatch. Aye, aye. And our chase unit, Alpha Dog Timberlake. Heading out. Probably going to need a bullet to complete his chase maneuver, so we're just going to have him take a single move and reload. Back in. Also give him a chance to kick in his repair servos for what is likely going to be the final time. Roger that. Beebs is going to hop down. He's going to apply some salve here to uh, our injured trooper. Don't know as I would let Justin Bieber anywhere near me with anything called like salve. I, I think I would probably hold out for some more specific type of medicine. Also applied by someone with perhaps a little more medical knowledge than, say, Justin Bieber. Into that location. But beggars can't be choosers, and at this point we are definitely down on our Run luck away. and resorting to begging. So, Lady Gaga is going to advance to this other full cover. She's going to reload. I'm ready. Gaga, actually, our other trooper who could theoretically pursue the rogue thin I'm man by it. jumping up onto the rooftop. Still no sight, so that guy is very, very far away. Somebody can hear sectoids? Yeah, they're going to be in that main room. We can come back and deal with them later. So we have sectoids and mutons, our, our other unit. Now, the muton issue has me a little concerned, because if that's like a pot of muton elites, we're in very, very serious trouble. Possibly serious enough that we could be forced to retreat from this mission. If that's like a bunch of Muton elites and, and ethereal or something, we uh, we we can't combat that. We just that's uh, we're not gonna be. We we just don't have the soup to do it. This is really stupid. Yeah, that that's it's that's stupid even for me. I'm not gonna do it. I do want somebody to try and chase down that thin man, but even for me, that's an a incredibly risky maneuver. That's affirmative. So, Run Overwatch, up. then. My eyes on. Uh, we do need to start regrouping everyone. Lauer, why don't Moving you just go take cover over there? Tay Tay, continue the chase. I, I don't want to go around this corner. Every time we've played this map, our command pod has been around there. Overwatch I simply inside. can't risk popping it with our troopers in such bad position. I'm on it. We're we're too out of we're too out of sorts to uh, try anything Already risky there. at this point. You know what? I'm thinking a rooftop assault might not necessarily be the worst idea ever. That's affirmative. I'm gonna set up for that. That'll give us a chance to take a look at the pod that's up there. If the leader pod is over where it normally is, which is right around this corner. All right, so there's the thin man. And Taylor Swift continues her cavalcade of misses. We may have to downgrade Tay Tay from Death Goddess to uh, Goddess of, say, Minor Injury. Yeah, he's gonna hit her for like 40 damage. Oh my god, a thin, the Thin Man Sniper actually fucking missed a shot. That's okay, Taylor Swift is prepared to answer in kind. She'll go miss for miss with anyone. Seriously, Taylor, are you sick? What is wrong with you? I mean, I know recently you've been a big proponent of shaking things off. Did you perhaps shake it too hard? I mean, have, is it like a, a British nanny that you, you maybe shook it just a, a little too often and there's there's not enough left for anyone else? You, you overshook, perhaps. I mean, 
You don't really seem like yourself, Tay Tay. I gotta say, you you seem a little out of sorts. Ass. Normally, you're simply a walking machinery of death, but uh... positive enemy contacts. Oh, that's exactly what we needed. Yeah, let's spawn five muton, six muton elites, seven muton elites. So Red Brown is dead, and uh, this is a mission we're gonna withdraw from. I I don't think we have the soup. We, we definitely can't beat six Muton Elites in addition to everything else they've thrown at us. We just can't take it. On the move. Hostile unit located. So there's our command pod, actually, which is reasonably small and possibly easily dealt with. <sighs> in my zeal to kill this thin man sniper, and I didn't even get it done. So this episode is uh, going real well. We're going to set up for an evacuation, folks. We uh, we can't win this mission. We're going to have to fall back and just hope we can get away without anyone getting killed. On Overwatch. So it's uh, time to embark. Emergency plan. Run the fuck away. Because we are in over our heads. We don't have a good enough crew. Things have not gone well. And uh, it's time to cut our losses. At this point... Fleeing is uh, is the right option. Sometimes in the long war mod, uh, some missions aren't aren't really meant to be achievable. If it hadn't have been for Red Brown spawning that gigantic pod of uh, Muton elites, we might have had maybe a small chance of completing this one, despite the terrible terrible opening. But with those Muton elites on order, we have no chance. And Taylor Swift actually may not even survive. Hostile reinforcements inbound. If Tay -tay, well, Tay Taylor didn't panic, at least. She got mind frayed, but no panic. If the aliens continue to pile up mind control effects on her, though, this is uh, this is going to go badly for us. Systems within acceptable parameters. Not sure what that ability was. Thin man falling back. He's got to reload. That's lovely. Again, that's how you know a unit's been alive way, way, way too long. If it's had uh, an opportunity to reload, you have done something critically wrong. These guys are just going to mind link, and then this guy's probably going to shoot at Taylor Swift. Little do they know that Taylor Swift is going to run, run, run as fast as she can. Like the gingerbread man, because we're getting the hell out of Dodge. Don't panic, Tay Tay. System shut down imminent. Thanks, Taylor. That's precisely what we needed. Could you at least fall back? No, huh? Just gonna stand there and get shot? Alright then. <laughs> Fall back, perhaps? Of course not. Copy that. Uh, I'm not even sure we're gonna be able to uh, to escape the mission now. Overwatch. Are those all Muton elites? They absolutely are. Alright. We're, get, we're getting the hell out of here, folks. That, that's all there is to it. Let's do this. That's way, way too much, uh, way too much offense. We simply aren't going to be able to handle that. We're going to try and set up in a defensive position to hold off the elites if they advance on us. And really, we got to send Justin Timberlake down, sort of, to try and help keep Taylor Swift alive. I don't necessarily like his chances, but uh, we've, we've got to try and do something. We can't just have Tay Tay standing there taking damage. Yeah, there's there's no point in having Megan Fox trade fire with that guy. We just need to get her out of dodge. Moving to the Megan mission. Fox is going to fall back. We're not going to mess with those mutons at all. If they want to come at us, that's fine. We'll let them come at us. But other than that, we're not going to go futz with them. It's uh, it's, it's a sucker's game right there. Location confirmed. We're going to send Gaga down also to try and perhaps help dig Taylor Swift out of her hole. <laughs> Really, Tay Tay, you need to recover from the panic, my dear. We need to get the shit out of here. So, if you could, maybe, I don't know, buck up. Or just stand there and get killed by that guy with his endless parade of hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. And someone is probably dead here as well, now that I, uh, now that I think about it. This guy is not likely to miss anyone in half cover. Or this flanked unit is probably also dead. So here comes a grenade. This is going to be all the way awful. 
Actually, not nearly as terrifyingly bad as I expected it to be, to be perfectly honest. They're moving around the side. coming in from the sides! So unless we can kill all of those berserkers, we have to leave this turn. And Taylor Swift is just going to steadily get mind frayed to death. This is, uh, this is not going well at all. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm troubled, folks. Very, watch, Justin Timberlake will also panic. Oh my god, he actually didn't panic. I'm, I'm floored. That's, uh, more surprising than when he run the, oh, come on, Taylor Swift. We can't hold this position for much longer. I, uh. We really, really need you to uh, stop panicking and recover so you can get the hell away. Also, if you stay there much too terribly much longer, you're simply going to be killed by aggregate damage. Neutralized. We don't have the units to uh, continue this level of intervention. We really don't. These Muton Elites, this guy doesn't die. He's going to whack us with a grenade. He'll kill like four dudes. He does only have three health left. Uh, Alpha Dog, please go and assist Tay Tay. She desperately needs some help. Have a shot at something that can hit. Awesome. Yeah, that's precisely what we were looking for, for your best shot to be at that guy. Flower? Yeah, you have a shotgun, so no effectively. No chance there. We can't afford to leave Lady Gaga where she's at, because she's in no kind of cover. So the Gogster is going to make grenading us even more attractive. Scanning. Laura, can you run and gun? You can. All right. Well, you're going to have to engage your run and gun what ability, sir, and try and go have? rescue the... Somebody was on Overwatch? Come on. I'm all right. You're going to have to try and rescue the terribly beset Taylor Swift. The haters are really piling up on Tay-Tay. Please tell me you can kill that guy. And this is a run and gun, so you can't even escape. You're probably going to get killed. Matt Lauer is likely dead. He's down. Red Brown, why don't you just go complete the trifecta down. here by missing this Muton Berserker? Either he'll move or this will kill him. Or both, which is also good. Justin Timberlake has no shots. Um, the only thing we can have, we're gonna have Timberlake collateral damage this thin man's cover. Attacking hostile position. And hope that it can move him. This will buy Taylor Swift enough time to make her escape. I'm on it. Overwatch for Bieber. That's desperately useful. Seriously, I, I can't imagine that Matt Lauer is not straight up killed here. Get me the hell out of here! So he's already suppressed. That's, that's a problem. Sectoid Commander is falling back? I don't understand why. And this thin man is the bane of our fucking existence. I just, I would love to point that out. On the move. They're flanking us. So here comes a couple Overwatch shots. A couple of woefully inadequate Overwatch shots, I'd like to point out. That was a terrible performance all around, guys. All the way bad. I have no idea what this Elite is up to. Why he would choose to double move into the wide open with no cover at all. No idea what he's... Okay, so everything in the world is now converging on our position. <laughs> this is... This is a cavalcade of disaster, folks. This this is like watching The Room. It's just, just disaster upon disaster upon disaster. We're trying to run away and we can't even manage to flee. Matt Lauer will panic. I, I can't believe he resisted it. So this one, of course, will get him. He'll get mind frayed here and panic. Apparently, Lauer has just said no. He's had enough, folks. He's taken his fill. He's had enough of Katie Couric's bullshit. He's not going to put up with any more. Of course, the problem is that uh, Matt Lauer also suppressed. Out. And here comes Exalt into the fray. Because, uh, you know, more opposition is, is really what we needed at this point. I wasn't feeling challenged by this mission, so I thought... Uh, no, let's make it hard on ourselves here. I mean, why take it easy? Let's let's actually make this mission difficult. And at this point, since we're, it looks like we're going to have to kill every single unit in the fucking world to get out of this mission anyway, I'm, I'm tempted to just forge ahead. We've already dealt with most of the elites. 
we do have some Exalt guys that are going to be at least a small problem, but not an insurmountable one, to be perfectly honest. Especially if we can get Megan Fox to keep dealing like that. Now, Taylor Swift still has not had a chance to reload. So we're going to dash Taylor and just try and get her out of line of sight. Alright, we're going to try and force those... Try and force those sectoids to move if they want to engage us. 53% to hit. That's not good. We, we've we got to spread out a little. I'm on it, Commander. So Hugh Jack's man is going to go in overwatch. We, we can't leave those units bunched up like that, or if that's just begging to have someone killed. Matt Lauer is suppressed, but he's suppressed by a sectoid. Matt Lauer is going to have to brave the overwatch. The question is, where can we put him that's safe? He doesn't even have a, a secure line of retreat. Honestly, his best bet might be to just go ahead and kill that thin man. Yes, Commander. This is stupefyingly risky, but we, we have no choice. Matt Lauer has to break suppression. If he stays there, he's just dead. If he comes here, he has not a good, but at least a non-zero chance of killing this abusive thin man who has been cheesing us the entire mission. This guy is fucking more irritating than a case of crabs. So, of course, Matt Lauer fails. Because failure is what XCOM does. That's, uh, that's what I've learned, folks. Never hope. Never hope. When everything seems at its worst and the situation is most dire... That's when the wheels come off. When you think, this can't get any worse. That, that's when everything gets worse. That's uh, that's the inevitability of XCOM. Just when you think things can't get any, any more dire, things get more dire. So that smoke grenade basically guaranteeing us uh, a lot of grenade damage, which is why we're going to employ an abundance of Overwatch. On the plus side, that guy actually can't move, because if he does move, Matt Lauer will shoot him. So he just took a shot at Lauer and missed, which is fairly lucky. I don't know where these sectoids came from. A little covering fire from huge axe. No hit, but no surprise. I don't know what this guy is doing. Mind fraying? Eh. Oh, he tried to psy panic, but actually huge axe man with the temerity to resist. I'm quite impressed. The funny thing about this is I'm I'm still trying to run away. I really still want to just flee this mission, but uh, the aliens won't give me a chance to back out. I'm, I'm trying to leave you guys alone. I'm, I'm, I'm trying. Seriously. Cooperate. Just let me go. They say if you love someone, let them go, but uh, I guess the aliens don't love us, and that's the worst possible outcome for Matt Lauer. I do not think he can take close quarters combat shots while hunkered down, so that means that uh, that thin man basically has unfettered access to Lauer. We're green to go. Hugh Jack's man is out of ammo, but he can reload. What's his best shot? All of his best shots are terrible shots. Uh, the best odds are long odds. That guy has covering fire. I'm under fire. Yeah, no kidding. So, honestly, Exol proving to be some of the most annoying fucking troopers that we've fought on this mission. Uh, can we do anything about these guys at all? Why are they so difficult to hit? I mean, seriously, why are these guys so fucking impossible to hit? Lady Gaga, the only one who can hit anything in our entire crew, apparently. Or, I guess, rather, that was Megan Fox, but still... Megan Fox, the only one who's going to kill a damn thing. Nice. Taylor Swift did not get a chance to reload, which means she still has no ammunition. Well, this just keeps getting worse, guys. Back online. Matt Lauer, you're, uh, you're going to have to pretend you're a Disney princess and uh, perhaps self-rescue. Timberlake, engage the jet boots. We, uh, we need you to go be a target, actually, is, is what we need. Somebody got to get shot at, and that somebody is you. Also, it would not uh, be a terrible thing if perhaps you could kill one of these enemies for us, maybe? Maybe shoot someone. Thank you. Thank you, Justin Timberlake, for continuing to be the one guy who was willing to fucking do his goddamn job. Eber's going to reload. 
And uh, that was Red Brown flanked there. Who has Red Brown flanked from there? Probably that thin man would be my guess. Some of these places where it's telling me I'm flanked are just are baffling to me. I have no idea what could possibly be flanking me there. Aye, aye, Commander. So we are going to have Red Brown move. And he's going to go on Overwatch in case anything comes around that corner. Lady Gaga also going to Overwatch. And let's see what happens with the saga of the panicked Matt Lauer. So he's going to continue to trade fire, I guess. And that actually sort of advantaged Matt Lauer in that situation because he hunkered down from the panic. Justin Timberlake's going to bring another Muton Berserker for us. And here comes some Overwatch. I actually can't believe that we have survived this long. By any right reason or any kind of suspicion, every single person on our team should be dead. They should be a, just a spray of corpses littering the ground. And once again, huge Axeman proving to be utterly unflappable. The man cannot be stopped. And eventually things are going to go badly for Matt Lauer. He's just going to get mind frayed to death at some point. We really need to try and extricate Matt Lauer. He's in a terrible situation. We need to try and get him out of there. Ammo still uh, proving to be in short supply. Matt Lauer out of said ammo. Um, Lauer, buddy, you've, you've got to try and get to safety. Taylor Swift, can you in any way assist Matt Lauer? I mean, seriously, anything. A phone call. Something. Answer is no. Is there anywhere Matt Lauer could get cover if he falls back? Yes, but it's going to be the kind of cover that will get him killed. He's also going to have to take Overwatch to do it, but it's Sectoids on Overwatch, so that I'm actually less worried about. Even were that shot to hit, I don't think it could have killed someone as stalwart as Matt Lauer. So here's our only chance to save Matt Lauer. We're going to have him fall back, and Justin Bieber is actually going to have to toss a smoke grenade at him. We're going to bring okay. Taylor Swift back as well. Taylor Swift has no shots at anything. I find that okay. very difficult to believe. Covering now. So huge real steel Jackman. Um, I really have to prioritize this Muton Berserker over the second Obviously, I, I feel that this is the right move. The Sectoid has done nothing but try and mine for a real steel over and over, and it hasn't exactly proved a fruitful use of his time. There's a billion guys back here with their weapons studied, so there is no way we're having anybody walk around that corner. Not a chance. We're going to have uh, JT fall back. And if he has a reasonable shot at that sectoid, we'll take it. Well, as an exalt guy, we're, we're still going to take it. The one man on our team who has the answer for exalt turns out to be Justin Timberlake. He is fully prepared and ready to kill I them at a moment's notice. Which is a damn good thing because there sure as hell ain't anybody else on our team that's going to try and kill him or even willing to kill him. Uh, well, this is uh, this has gone from bad to worse here, folks, actually. So here's what we're going to do. Justin Timberlake's going to try and counter Mind Fray. That's, that's all I got. It worked. That's not going to do damage to that enemy, of course, because he heals faster than Mind Fray can deal, but, uh... Got it covered. Wow, Lady Gaga really needs to reload. But we also really need her on Overwatch. Also, Megan Fox. I was going to be very upset if that shot hit. Very upset. That guy was Mind Frayed, so that lasts a good long while. He should be suppressed for the next several turns. This should be our Overwatch taking out the final Muton. Well, it's Overwatch. It's not taking out anything, actually. And Red Brown, I gotta say, you, sir, have been quite a disappointment on this mission. I am not at all pleased with your performance. To say that it's been subpar would be overestimating you. I mean, you're the man who took out Calgon, for Christ's sake. Calgon! You drove around in an Enforcer. Taylor Swift continues her streak of awfulness. But you drove around in an Enforcer, you got more railing kills than any single man has a right to get in his entire lifetime. And yet, uh, this is what you do for us here, Red Brown? This is your performance? I don't understand the behavior from these guys at all. I have no idea what they're hoping to achieve. 
Ah, apparently the aliens are going for a volume of fire kind of thing. That's not terrible. That's survivable damage for uh, Timberlake. And eventually these sectoids are going to get close enough that Taylor Swift can go flamethrower. I mean, it will happen eventually. That eventually could be 100 years from now, but I do feel that uh, at some point in time they will get there. Hours out of ammo. Taylor Swift has an abundance of targets, but uh, no really great way to engage them, per se. Lady Gaga is now officially out of ammo. Alright, so this turn is going to prove to be a very interesting cup of tea. The hit for Megan Fox. And yes, I'm aware that you're low on ammo, Megan, but, uh, well, that's a problem you're just going to have to buck up and learn to deal with. Reb Brown, I would like for you to please kill this other berserker. And if possible, uh, how... Uh, we need you out of line of sight. You're moving to there, Red Brown. The unit that should be flanking you is the one you should be killing. So, Lady Gaga, out of ammo. She's going to readjust. And force to reload. We have no choice. Matt Lauer and Justin Bieber are going to fall back. Lauer is still empty because he has not had an opportunity to reload. It's oh, no, he had time. just enough movement. All right, then. We've got to get some of these sectoids killed. This exposes Taylor Swift to an unacceptable level of danger, but Heavy she has enough now. health, I have to... Th well, I have to not think, because I don't I don't think she actually can do it, but I have to hope that Taylor Swift Oh, if this if this kill would be huge, actually, Taylor. Thank you for finally showing up. I have to hope that Taylor Swift is Dead has enough gumption to, to withstand. I, I just have to hope she can maintain. She's gonna get a reload from Hugh Jack's man and he's gonna go on Overwatch. Timberlake desperately needs to reload because he's out of ammo, so we're going to put Timberlake somewhere where he's out of the immediate lane of fire, and he's going to take that reload. And that just leaves Justin Scarecrow Bieber, who has two targets and terrible chances to hit them both. So the Beebster, then, is going to suppress the Thin Man. We would like to keep that thin man there so he's not sniping the shit out of everyone while we get someone equipped to deal with his ass. Now, I'm not sure that we actually have someone equipped to deal with his ass on the entire mission at this point. Hugh Jack's man with covering fire. Still no go. And I'm not sure why that sectoid is so absolutely unhittable, but goddamn, that guy has been a maniac for the enemy team. He's really getting it done, folks. I can't believe we're still in this mission after I've, I've, I have legitimately been trying to flee this map now for almost here. 20 minutes. If you could hit with some of these reactive sensor shots, Taylor Swift, that would really help us out because otherwise you're just fucking wasting ammo. Either hit or don't shoot. I'm, I'm getting sick of this ammo wasting behavior of yours. It is... Good God, there's a fucking ton of sectors back there. There's got to be at least six. Gonna shoot at Justin Bieber. Yeah. Not oh, gonna mind fray Justin Bieber. Or Psy panic him. Also good. Didn't work though, because the Beebster cannot be controlled by any mortal man. Justin Bieber is immune to mind control. Justin Bieber employs mind control. That's his bit. Justin Bieber is mind control. You don't get a two billion believers on your team unless you got something going for you. And finally, it's time for a little Taylor Swift payback here. Guess what, you sons of bitches? Enjoy being on fire, motherfuckers! Yeah, how do you like that? Jelly delirium, huh? Sticks right to the skin, don't it? Yeah, that shit sucks. <sighs> unhittable sectoid continues to be unhittable as well. Seriously, I, I, this, this, this fucking sectoid, this guy, this fucking guy right here, come on. Copy that. The Red Brown could die right here if there's anybody on Overwatch, but looks like Unhittable Sectoid finally met his match. He's down. 
Red Brown putting him down with some thunderous authority. Red Brown also now out of ammo. And at this point, honestly, I don't see any advantage to withdrawing. I really think we should probably just try and stick around and fight this shit out. We're going to run and gun with Matt Lauer and go for a kill here. Lauer, he won't be able to see. We're going to put Lauer behind this rock and see if we can finish off the devastating sniper. For the enemies, this guy, definitely their MVP right here. This guy is the MVP of this mission. At least for Team Alien, there's certainly no one else who has done even close to as fine a job. I'm ready. Not sure what unit she could see. We're gonna bring I'm on it, Alpha Dog over here and put him on Overwatch just in case. On Overwatch. And that leaves us Biebs. Bieber does not have enough ammo to suppress. I don't really like his chances of hitting anything. Getting it done. We're gonna have the Biebster just readjust very slightly. 11% is not good enough. We'll have Bieber take this turn and just go ahead and reload then. We fought our way back from the brink of destruction, folks. Things were just... It was an abysmal train wreck early on, but uh, we're, we're making a comeback. Now, again, that could change at any moment. It, it, it could have a, just another reversal at the drop of a hat. And if Taylor Swift could start hitting some of these reaction shots, it would really, really be handy. The problem is she's getting mind frayed, which is tanking her aim into the toilet. So she can't hit. At this point, basically, Taylor Swift is a walking flamethrower deployer, which is fine. She can take the damage. Once again, mind controlling Bieber. You might be able to panic Bieber, because when he sees the cops, he uh, freaks out and runs a bit. That's, that's not unusual to panic a Bieber. And while you may be able to panic a Bieber, you'll never be able to control the Bieber. Just throwing that out there for you aliens. Bear that in mind. So, it's, Megan Fox has a squad sight shot at something, but I uh, don't really like her chances. We're actually going to have Megan Fox move at a dash. We need to get her, and also Lady Gaga, really. We need to get these guys in a position to contribute. Hugh Jack's man okay. is going to readjust and reload. Ready to engage. Timberlake is gonna... Well, Timberlake is basically a, a one-man team butt plug at this point. He's uh, doing duties for team butt plug. Red it's Brown is just gonna time. reload. And go on Overwatch. I've got my eyes on. So Matt Lauer has two targets. I'm guessing his chances of hitting either of those targets are abysmal. He can't really afford to move anywhere without exposing himself to unfortunate levels of aggression. Let's see what Taylor Swift can do. Once again, Tay Tay out of ammo. And the whole mind fray, th mind fray thing, rather, keeping her movement speed really limited is also posing a pretty significant problem for us. So Tay Tay's just gonna reload. We're gonna put Lauer, what's your hit percentage here like Lauer, 18%? Not even worth wasting the ammo. I was gonna see if you could maybe flashbang, but it looks like Lauer's going on Overwatch. And apparently one of those berserkers is still running around. I guess we didn't get one. I don't really like Red Brown's chances of taking him on solo. That just seems stupid. And the aliens with their mind fray and fall back tactics are at this point running out of map. Also that shot, complete fucking bullshit. I just like to point that out. And the other problem we have is uh, we are running out of health. I don't know as we have uh, any other heals left in the bag. Why are these guys so fucking unhittable? I, I, how did that guy live? I mean, seriously, how did he survive that shot? Unkillable sectoids are unkillable. He took 6 damage and then 18 damage? Sure, that makes a lot of sense. Order confirmed. We're going to have Real Steel come in and go on Overwatch. And that Muton Berserker that's behind, or not Berserker, but the Muton Elite that's behind us. That guy actually also is a problem. At some point, we may have to hunt him down, which i got to say, I'm, I'm not at all looking forward to. And this episode is running very, very long, for which I apologize, but uh, the action is so intense, I don't I don't really feel comfortable just sort of abandoning it mid-go. Here's a, here's a shot. Is a terrible, terrible, terrible shot. 
Honestly, that shot's so bad, I don't I don't even want Red Brown to be able to see that guy. We're gonna have him move. We can't afford to have Lady Gaga take damage. We can't put her in a risky position. I want to advance her so she can maybe bring her weapon to bear, but we, we can't afford to have her getting shot. Solid copy, Commander. Matt Lauer's gonna dash. Run and gun will be available, so Matt Lauer can go kill something on his next turn. This guy's gonna take a shot at Red Brown. Nope. He's gonna run out and yell at Matt Lauer and then run away at Red Brown? I, I don't understand the purpose of that move, but I'll take it. Beats having him kill the Rebster. So, Team Alien continues their inscrutable advances. Megan Fox finally with some shots here. Please, a critical Megan would be beautiful. Well, no critical, but you, you hit the guy, so I, I can't fault you too much. Headed there now. Hey, Tay, I would love to see you set, like, 17 guys on fire. Or, at this point, one guy on fire. Wow, 15 damage from the Jelly Delirium. That, uh, that stuff really puts out the hurt now. Alright, so we could do a little Red Brown Huge Axe Man tag team at this Muton. 78% with the 75 critical. We're going to take it. And Huge Axe Man immediately lets us down. How much health does Justin Alpha Dog? Timberlake? Timberlake can't take a hit. I was going to say we'll bring Justin Timberlake up there to draw the fire, but uh, we can't do that because we can't afford to have him take the damage. I don't, I don't think he can survive it. We're going to bring Bieber over. The Gogster we're going to bring up here. She's going to go on Overwatch. We, I, I know exactly where those aliens are. They're in underneath that thing. Does any of this cover? None of it is cover. So if the aliens are going to abuse it, we're going to abuse it as well. We're going to come in here with Matt Lauer. We're going to put him on Overwatch underneath there. If anything comes near him, he should have a pretty good chance to take it out. Overwatch for Bieber. Reb Brown, you know what? Reb, I want you to push that guy back to make him chew up more movement. I, I didn't want you to make him move forward, though. That uh, That's real bad, actually. Or he's going to run away again, which necessarily sort of made that actually a, a quality happenstance. So that... Despite all logic, actually worked out. Tay-Tay, please, please set fire to some aliens. Where are those sectoids? Where do those little shits get off to? We've hit the edge of the map at this point. They're running out of places to hide. That's affirmative. And I can't imagine that there's another pod left on this map. At this point, I think we have to have basically spawned every single possible enemy that we could have spawned. You got it. That guy can't heal, so if we have to, we'll have Red Brown keep chasing him around and hitting him with flush shots. Ouch, you. Eventually, Red's going to flush him out to a position where some of our other troopers can get up and, and put a good crack at him. Got Huge Axe that Man, who's going to have another game. shot here. Huge, maybe you could uh, deliver a hit this time, buddy. That'd be real good. Thank you, sir. Nicely done. Ah... <sighs> JT's going to kick on the jet boot module then. We have no choice. The boots got to come on. I'm uh, I'm told that uh, those boots are made for walking and that uh, that's just what they'll do. One of these days, Justin Timberlake's boots are going to walk all over you. And I tell you what, on that day, you will not be a happy camper. Although Justin Timberlake actually notoriously small feet. Guy wears like a size 2. He uh, still wears baby shoes, actually. It's uh, it's, it's actually kind of weird. Double time. So we're going to set up Lady Gaga here for the ultimate flank shot. I, I, I honestly had a loss at what else to do here. I know there's at least one okay. sectoid still running around somewhere. We're, we'll, we will find the little bastard. Eventually, oh, we will track him down. Uh... Megan Desert Fox, not really the right trooper for that particular gig, Got however, it, since she can't move and fire. At best, she could spot the alien. So let's see what old Mutie John here does. Just gonna take cover. He is on Overwatch this time, however, so that's that's a change. But the Overwatch thing, Reb Brown can actually... Uh, if only the Rebster had enough ammo... Oh, wait, Reb has lock and load! Woohoo! 
This is way to be awesome, Red Brown. You're gonna drop his Overwatch. Or you should have dropped his Overwatch with that hollow targeting, but for some reason it didn't work. Moving out. Please, please, Lady Gaga, murder this man. Shoot him in the butthole. Ah, oh, thank you, Lady Gaga. The butthole shot was huge. That that was that was critical to our success. Shooting that man in the butthole was huge. Heading to that location. And finally, we have the little son of a bitch in our sights, and it's time for you to burn, motherfucker. So he's not going anywhere. Well, he's going to there specifically. He's not going anywhere else. And Matt Lauer. Well, I was hoping Lauer might have a chance to finish him off, but uh, you know what? Lauer has a running gun ready. Moving at the speed of death. And he's going to use it. Orders confirmed. Please critical and kill this man, Matt Lauer. Please kill him. Murder this man. He's got to die. This could be end of mission. There, there's, there's, there's more aliens. That, that's real bad. Back in. Real bad. Good to go. Uh, so we have uh, more aliens then. All right then. Got that's it uh, that's delightful. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna regroup. And uh, try and find this last pod. I have no idea where they could be at this point. None whatsoever. Headed there now. It's possible there's a few more sectoids down there with Taylor Swift and Matt Lauer. I, I suppose. Affirmative. Covering now. I feel Let's see if we can maybe get an audio clue that will give us some kind of hint. Nope, nothing. All right then. So that means we just have to. Sort of run around and explore. That's uh, that's terrible, absolutely terrible. Already there. Yes, sir. Well, we're definitely going to regroup. We're uh, we've been spread out for too ter for just too long. And at this point, I was going to abandon the mission. I mean, I know I've said several times that I'm just waiting to check out. But at this point, after we've committed all this, Advancing. this much time, this much effort. And our troopers have just hauled themselves over 20 miles of broken glass and busted concrete. I really don't feel that uh, that. that bugging out at this point is, is the right move. I actually think that, that sticking with it is is the right thing to do. Moving to it would seem just a kind of a betrayal for them having fought this hard, stayed alive this long, despite this ridiculous opposition. It just seems like a betrayal if we were to uh, to let him down. So we're gonna, we're gonna stick it out, folks. We're gonna stay with it. We're in this one till the last alien is dead or the last XCOM trooper is dead. One, I mean, one of those two things is bound to happen. But uh, we're in it till the end, folks. We're not giving up. I'm on it, Commander. Go ahead and reload, Gaga. We do want to make sure everybody has ammo, so if we can by chance find the aliens, they're that way. What was that? All right then, so let's start scouting out that direction, I suppose. Heading out. And this is just what the aliens want. I already know their little I'm dirty scheme here. They're gonna be far away in an effort to try and make us advance since we're kind of crunched for time. They're gonna try and make us rush. That's their whole goal is to make us rush into something we can't handle. Hey, Tay, why don't you come around this corner Moving for me? To position. But that's that's the alien's plan here. They're just trying to make us rush into a, an untenable position so they can take advantage. They know we're eager to finish. They're looking to uh, finish it. us off themselves, but... We're not going to fall for their plan. I'm on to their game. Dodger, Dodger. So we're going to be careful. We'll take as long as needed. Moving out. We'll take as long as we need here. To it's gonna be like Justin Timberlake making love. We take as much time as it takes to get the job done. Moving to designated Ooh, baby. coordinates. Yeah. I said more maybe more like Barry White making love. <laughs> not not sure Justin Timberlake has uh has that kind of skill. I don't think we're alone out here. Well, clearly we're not, because if we were alone out here, the mission would have said, Nice job, guys. Well done, everybody go home. So I mean I'm on it, not commander. thinking we're alone is, is, is a reasonable supposition at this point. In fact, you should basically I'm know ready. that we're not alone. I mean, much like a Michael Jackson song, Red Brown, you are not alone, sir. You are not alone. 
If only there was a whale that could come and jump on your back good to go. and make you feel happy and good about yourself that you'd done a noble thing by rescuing a sick and or injured and or captive whale. Target confirmed. On our way. Moving on target location. So I have a feeling that the aliens then are going to be in the position of the ship order. rectum, as it's known, which is the giant gaping hole in the rear of the vessel. It's, uh, well, it's gaping because the aliens, uh, on the move. well, I mean, rectal probing is kind of their thing, and Roger lately that. they've Scanning. been, uh, having some sensitivity issues, and they've been forced to use to increasingly larger objects, and to say that it's done some damage to the soft tissues in that general vicinity would, would be an understatement. I mean, it, basically it looks like a, a, a sock full of mashed hamburger. I mean, it looks like somebody just wedged a sock, filled it full of hamburger, and then beat it against a brick wall. It's uh, it's real unpleasant. And I gotta tell you, even even the aliens have uh, mentioned the fact that it's it's pretty damn uncomfortable back there. So there's one exalt trooper who was on Overwatch, and this is all that's left. Well, nope, two. At this point, if one of our troopers gets killed by some cheap-ass overwatching exalt guys who have been hunkered down here for like 25 turns, I'm going to be really fucking pissed off. Just throwing that out there to the universe. Be aware. Be advised. On my way. I will be unspeakably angry. Justin Timberlake, shoot this man in the back of the skull and end his life. Thank you. Nicely done. No longer a threat. Are we going to be able to save Lady Gaga? All we have is Hugh Jack's man. He's the possibly the only guy. All right. Yes, come Here's what we're going to do. I have a plan. It's not a good plan, but it is a plan. Of course, Red Brown critically could uh, make that plan completely irrelevant. Actually, nice, nicely done, Red Brown. I was uh, my plan previously involved like a flashbang and some overly convoluted strategy, but. Uh, the gigantic critical that Red Brown put in that man's face just, uh, by and large, made it unnecessary. We, we, we don't have to worry about the plan any longer because uh, those exile troopers are dead. And uh, I'm glad. Real glad. I'm very glad they're dead. Still a pod somewhere, however. So, uh, there's that means we've got at least one more squad of aliens to go, and I stand by my earlier assertion that they are lurking around the butt pluggle area of the ship. The mashed... How could they possibly be over there? Alright, so there's got to be like exalt guys in this room. That, that's what it is. There are some exalt troopers remaining inside that room. Megan Fox, get on Overwatch. You're actually in the one person who's in a position where I want them. Tay Tay, you're going to go in that room and flamethrower whatever the hell is in there. So we're going to take our time and set this up. We're going to do a full-on ready breach. We're not going to take any kind of chances. It's going to be Overwatch for Hugh Jacks, man. Alpha Dog's going to come right over here. He's going to be overwatching the door. Anybody comes out of there, they're getting filled full of lead. Anybody comes through these doors is going to get a, a, a lead salad. Yeah, that was, that was Ed Norton right there. And no, not the Jackie Solid Gleason bus driving Ed Norton. The good Ed Norton. Come on, what do you think I am? I'd make a reference to Stepping Ed Norton and not have it be from Fight Club? What do you expect of me? I'm only on human. Way. So the Scarecrow, Overwatch. gonna hang back, keep it on Overwatch. Matt Lauer, why don't you just uh, down yes, get ready sir. to go in. You kept, you've ever run and gun ready, great foot speed. You've shown remarkable willpower on this mission, Matt Lauer. I gotta say, your uh, efforts have been Beyond brave, sir. If ever a man deserved a medal of honor or some other uh, Do you hear military or otherwise noble accolade, um, I really feel That's that on this mission, sir, that person is you. You have you have earned Moving to position. our respect, sir, and our well wishes for the future as well. Not just respect, although we got mad respect for you, Matt Lauer, but also. This is, you know what, I was going to say I'm going to move up to this corner and prepare an entry, but I'm actually not going to. 
I want to make sure we're full on in excellent, perfect position before we go in this room. Simply because at this point, we have no margin for error. None. We, we cannot afford a single mistake. A single mistake makes somebody dead. So we're going to have to be very, very careful. Overwatch confirmed. Beebs, why don't you just advance and hide out in this corner? And if we need you to dash in and maybe deliver an emergency mine fray, we can do that. We're still getting we're getting audio. Okay, so there's guys like right here. That's the only place they could possibly be. Let's open this door and just see what we've got. We have nothing. All right then. So Red Brown should be able to walk in here and murder whatever is left. Okay, it's a single exalt guy who was on Overwatch. This is what it's all come down to, folks. All that setup for this lone jackass who's going to be killed by Red Brown. He's going to be badly injured by Red Brown. And then killed by Lady Gaga. If this is not end of mission, I'm going to revolt at this point. X-ray down. Everything by the numbers. Central, if you're calling that mission by the numbers, your fucking numbers are wrong. I demand that you go in there, delete all of those numbers, rewrite them, and come up with new numbers. Because you and I clearly weren't watching the same mission. Also, you're fired. Wow. Amazing work, though. I gotta say, we were just in a gigantic hole with an alien boot on our neck, and thanks to some unbespeakable, unbelievable heroicism from our troopers, we managed to pull it out. Now, everybody's gonna be in infirmary for a hundred years. That just goes without saying. Everybody on this mission got their asses shot off 22 ways from Sunday. I can't believe we didn't get more promotions, to be perfectly honest. A little surprised. Lady Gaga definitely earned a promotion, and with only a four-day wound, that's actually lower than her fatigue time would have been, I think. So Gagstrav's bring him on, which is not great. Resilience, which is fantastic. And will to survive. Yeah, it's going to be resilience for the Gogster. And Alpha Dog Timberlake also earning a promotion. Oh, man, Shoguns are so good. Two destructive grenades in a single inventory slot in the green. Uh, I'm not sure how that works with a grenade launcher. Light em up is so good, though. You know what? We're, we're gonna take light em up. It's just, it's too good. It's too good. Too good. Gonna take it. It's a fantastic ability, and uh, Justin Timberlake actually has the aim to support it. So I'm going with light em up. And that's that then. So let's take a look at our loot. Anything we got on this mission, unbelievably well deserved. We deserve everything we get and more. Hey, we got enough alien surgeries and alien stasis tanks to complete the alien surgery. And if we can do that project, I'm gonna do that project. Let's go, let's go take a look at that very quickly. We're gonna head down to the foundry. What are we missing? We don't have 12 alien surgeries? Okay, I guess we don't have 12 alien surgeries. I'm really regretting selling some of those alien surgeries that we sold earlier in the game. Like, desperately regretting it. It was a titanic mistake. And I am a stupid, stupid man. But if you've stuck through this for the last 94 minutes, you clearly don't need any additional evidence that I'm a stupid, stupid man. So, before I dig my hole any deeper, I think I'll go ahead and wrap things up. If you enjoyed the episode, and good God, if you watched it this long, I have to assume that you enjoyed it at least a little bit. Um, feel free to drop a like down in the comments section. And if you'd like to see more daily XCOM, um, preferably not episodes this long. I do apologize for the length. I really ran long. But it was so exciting, I just I didn't want to stop. I, I couldn't bring myself to break it. So I guess this can be like a extra long party bonus episode before the holidays. So enjoy, folks. But uh, if you want to see more daily, consider subscribing as well. We'll see you again soon.